Hi, uh, so as you probably know, or if you're watching this video, you may have heard, uh, Matt Smith, who plays the 11th Doctor, has left Doctor Who. Not yet, obviously, he'll, he'll be going in about a year or so after the 50th anniversary and the Christmas special. He'll be regenerating in some way, uh, and a new Doctor, a new actor will come to play the Doctor. And uh, I'm just making this video to submit my candidacy to play the next Doctor. Um, and I'll tell you why. I spent a lot of time after when I was 10 watching Doctor Who, and I grew to love it. And I just think it would be a really good th thing to do. And I think that, uh, that I could do it well enough that people would, wouldn't, wouldn't be sad. Uh, and like, I, I think what it requires to play the Doctor, or at least uh, 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 a suitable doctor or an actor that people are happy enough to play the doctor it requires uh, a certain uh, what's the word a certain uh, stamina and a certain pre pre prestigiousness uh, and I think I can convey all those things um, the thing that all the actors who played the doctor before have had was that they've all had one little quirk uh, that makes them different from the previous however many number of actors have played the Doctor before them actors. Um, and I think that my one is just as unique, if not more uniquer. Now like I said, every Doctor's had his thing. If it's not Matthew Tennant's bow tie or Don Baker's scarf, then it's Peter Daverson's celery or David Smith's converses. Uh, you know, everyone's got their thing. My Doctor's gonna be the first one that has a cup. He's just gonna take it with him uh, to wherever he goes and whatever planet he needs to save. Uh, and it's going to be one of the symbols, I think, that's going to become prominent in, 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 in Doctor Who as a whole and in the, the era. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to make its mark. It's going to make a mark. And in the recent series since 2005, or New Who, as some people are uh, referring it to, uh, most Doctors have had uh, a catchphrase or a quip that they would uh, say and it became sort of a, a landmark in, in Doctor Who. Um, it, it, if it's not Chris Ferguson's Fantastic or uh, David Smith Tennant's Geronimo then or or um, so I've ha so I have been thinking about what my Doctor's catchphrase could be and I've come up with GET IN THE FUCKING TARDIS! I think that sort of conveys what I want my Doctor to be about. One of, these th one of the things about Doctor Who is that after Regenerations, uh, the show can go through so many different forms, like the famous uh, Dave Tennant leaving and Russell T Davies and some of the other people who made Doctor Who. And I think that one of the people that, one of the things about Doctor Who that is still there and still the sort of constant throughout the sort of new Who era has been Murray Gold. Uh, Murray Gold is the composer of the music of Doctor Who, but of course I don't need to tell that you, to you, you're the, you're the BBC. Uh, what, he he, write, he writes the music for Doctor Who, and I think the good thing is compatibility with the Doctor, and I, I think I feel quite compatible with the music of Murray Gold. So that's all I'm saying to you, British Broadcast Company, that you shouldn't have to go down the, the, the road of choosing an actor who's well-known when you could be going for an actor who's not trained or successful in any way, but is committed to, 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 to forming this character and, and playing with it. It doesn't have to be a cop, it could be anything, but it's really down to you, and I think that we could make this work, and 
I hope I'm. I hope to. I I hope to be considered. At least for the role. My email will be in the description. Uh, Dragonheart ninety five at gmail dot com. Just feel free to uh, email me whenever I'm. I'm in uh, all days, all day. Uh, so thank you for the the the, the opportunity. Uh, and thank you. So I have been thinking about what my daughter's catchphrase could be, and I've come up with Once you go Sonic, you never go Daleks, <laughs> original. It's bigger on the inside, and so is my car. Quick! Cup attack! Suck it on me, bastard! <laughs> Suck it on me, bastard Jaffas! Ah! <laughs> cup! It's... Who ordered the cup of the doctor? You've heard of the Lord's Prayer, try the time... You've heard of the Lord's Prayer, prayer. Try, he try the Time Lord Prayer. And I, I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, <laughs> oh, so hopeful. That was the weirdest thing I've ever done.